Hi guys. Um, okay, the chat just popped up. I didn't think I'd be making this video right now. Um, I would have done this sooner, but uh, I had obligations I had to do beforehand, and um, this was not the notification I wanted to receive. Um, <laughs> this is really tough. You... You never want to see a player finish his career on an injury. And, uh, especially when it's one of your absolute favorite players. Like, if you asked me who my favorite Islanders are, it's Casey Zizekas, Johnny Boychuk, and JG Pajot. Um, so if you guys don't know, the Islanders just released a statement that due to Johnny Boychuk's uh, eye injury, he will not be able to continue his career. Now it didn't say he was retiring, he might go on long term, uh, long term IR, LTIR, um, but to have such a great person in Blair, he he had to he had to make the decision. Like it's his health and safety comes first. No matter what you're doing, health and safety comes first. And he, ha you know what? Honestly, even though he had to end his career early, he still had a pretty full career. He still got to do a lot. Um, now, I started loving Johnny Boychuk when he was on the Boston Bruins. My grandmother, who's in the chat, was the one who really made me focus on Johnny Boychuk. I remember her telling me during a Boston Bruins game, like, I love that Johnny Boychuk, he's so great, he's such a good player on the ice. And that's what really made me focus on Johnny Boychuk. I'll never forget that. I started watching Bruins games a little bit to watch him play. Um, watching him win the cup with the Bruins put such a smile on my face. I was, you know, a lot of people give shit to the Bruins, but... I was so happy to see the Bruins lift the cup for Zdeno Chara, but also to see Johnny Boychuk raise the cup. Um, uh, Rocha, uh, he's just, his eye injury has to end his career early. Um, when he raised that cup, it really, I was so happy for him. He was a player I truly respected. And then, um, something I never thought would happen. Um, the Islanders traded for Johnny Boychuk. <laughs> I remember hearing the news that we got Johnny Boychuk and I was so ecstatic. So happy. My grandmother and I, I remember my grandmother and I just celebrating and so happy. My grandma was like, I need a boy Chuck jersey. I need a boy Chuck jersey. Uh, we were so ecstatic. And I can't believe it's been six years, but his six years on the Islanders, like, he was just such a boss. He was the leader on the ice. He took control of that defense. He was the main guy you could always depend on. And I was, he was someone 
I was so proud to call an Islander. I saw him win that cup with Boston. The only thing I wanted was for him to possibly do it again with the New York Islanders. That was my wish. To see someone like Boychuk do it again with the Islanders. I remember, um, I was at the game. I was at sitting in the seat, my button share at the game where he got that eye injury. And, uh, I remember my stomach rolling. I was, like, immediately, like, my heart just dropped watching him on the ice, you know, kicking and, you know, when you see one of your favorite players get hurt so bad. I remember that scared me. I remember talking about it with you guys on here. I remember talking about that moment with you guys on here because it scared the living crap out of me. To hear that he was okay was so I was so happy, but obviously you know it was a detrimental injury, and now today it's ended his career. I'm sorry, I'm trying to talk. <laughs> And I know, I know what's the priority here. I know what the priority is here, and it's his health. I mean, I think he's doing the right thing. I'm not mad. Um, I just, my folly as a fan is getting too emotionally attached to my players. They're like my family. And I know he's not dead, I know he's not gone. It just... You want to see a player that you love and respect have a full and rich career. Not cut short like this because of just a stupid injury. He was someone that was such a great, just a freaking amazing player on the ice, but off the ice, he was, I don't know, he was, it, it was, it wasn't conceited, he wasn't egotistical, he was someone where you could just sit down, have a conversation, you could go have a, you felt like you could go have a coffee with him, like, he was just an amazing guy off the ice, and it was such a pleasure that I got to meet him meet him. I was so excited to meet him. Being a fan of his since his Bruins days. And I was so mad though because I ordered a Johnny Boychuk jersey for the team meet and greet and uh, this jersey came the day after I met him. I was so upset. But I got one of the coolest pictures I've ever taken with a player. I got to do the pew pew <laughs> with him. He was so nice. He was so nice about it. And I asked him, could we do it? And he's, he just was all smiles and he was like, yeah, let's do it. And I got to take that photo with him. And I was so, it's still one of my favorite photos. Um, it just hurts that I'm not going to see him in the lineup anymore. I just, I just get too emotionally attached to players, man. It, it's my greatest downfall. I get way too emotionally attached to my players. But especially ones that you just feel so much respect to. And someone you are so glad to call an Islander. It was, you know, it sucks, but he's doing the right thing. He needed, he needed to, uh, he needed to do this. He needed to, 
he needed to call it quits and I'm just glad he's doing the right thing for his health. You know, because an eye is not a thing to joke around with. I wish there was more words than thank you. I can't begin to say how thank you is not enough. It never feels like enough to say thank you to someone like him. You know, busting it every single night on the ice for fun and entertainment for a stupid fan like me. He was just, every time I saw this guy on the ice, I knew they weren't scorned. <laughs> I just, he brought so much pride to the team and was someone I was so proud and happy to call an Islander after being a fan for so many years. I... I'm sorry, I, I didn't want to just break down the whole entire time I wanted to talk about I don't know it's just like people are like oh well here's the cap space I don't give a shit about the cap space right now I could give a damn about the cap space right now but I, at least I can say he had a full career I got to see him lift the Stanley Cup I wish he could have done it again on the Islanders but <sighs> I just, I've been a fan of his for so long. It sucks to see one of your favorite players call it quits in general, but especially due to a dumb injury where I could... <sighs> but with this, I know we needed cap space. I know we needed to clear the cap, and Johnny Boychuk's name was number one on that list. And at least I, I get to say... He's going to retire an Islander. I I don't know how Bruins fans are feeling because I know, I know a lot of Bruins fans who loved him too and were still fans of his while he was on the island. Whenever he scored, man, that was so awesome. <laughs> Johnny Rocket, man. I loved his play style. I loved it everything about him being on the Islanders. His shot was legendary. <laughs> I mean, it just sucks. I mean, at least I won't have to have the, the pain of seeing him on another team like I am with Thomas Grice right now. Oh my god, I'm... <laughs> Seeing Thomas Grice in red is really weird. <laughs> but, uh... I'm sorry. Um, I don't want to just cry like a baby. And I am reading your comments. Don't think I, I, I'm not reading your comments. I, I am. I just... <sighs> Thank you, guys. Um, The eye injury. Was the Matheson hit the final nail in the coffin? I don't know. Could it have been? Hell yeah, it could have been. Just to the same area. Freaking head hit that wasn't called! Two minutes in the box. For a career injury injury. I mean, the eye injury itself was just a freak accident. It was just a freak accident. But the Matheson hit, it's questionable whether that ended his career or not. Am I going to blame Matheson for ending his career? No. Do I not like Matheson for doing that hit? Yes. But I'm not going to blame Matheson for ending his career. Um, that's not right. It's not like Matheson was like, I'm gonna end this man's career today. Like, 
No. Do I think he sh that should have been more done about that situation? Yes, but... It's... The first was a freak... It was a freak accident to begin with. And, um... It is what it is. I just want him to be happy and healthy and... I'm glad he will retire an Islander. Um... Still gonna wear this. I don't even care. I'm still gonna wear this jersey. I love him too much. I know, like, usually after a player, like, leaves or retires, you don't really wear their number, but I'm still gonna wear the hell out of this. I respect him too much. And it's. Yeah, yeah, Dave. It just... I just, I get way too emotionally attached to my players. But I'm just so glad I could have seen Johnny Boychuk be an Islander in the first place. To see him so many years in the ice, just killing it, giving us the pew-pews, giving us those legendary goals from the blue line, and... Amazing plays on the back end, being the leader that he is on the ice for our our uh, newbies coming into our rookies coming to the league. Like even Dobson, Noah Dobson said how much of a mentor Boychuk was to him. He's a great, he's an amazing guy, all around. And that's the kind of hockey player I really, really respect. Is someone just who's just an all-arounder. Who just... He gets into that veteran presence and he... Kills it no matter what day. It's always 100%. But, uh... Sadly, the day has come where... He has to end his career. Thanks, Keith. But it just sucks. It really, really sucks to see such an amazing player have to call it quits. And it's gonna be like that for a lot of players coming in the future for me. <laughs> uh, I'm just glad of all the years he gave us that I at least got to see him lift the cup with the Bruins like that. I'm just glad he had to- uh, he had that moment. But yeah. It's a- it's a really sad day today and... Yeah, it's absolutely the worst way to see a career end. It sucks. It really does. Nothing but respects to Johnny Boychuk and his entire family and... If I'm the, gonna end this, the thing I would say is just thank you. I again, I wish there was a better word than just words than just thank you, but uh, thank you, Johnny Boychuk, for your dedication to the sport, to my team, and the countless memories you gave me as a fan. Thank you for <laughs> treating me not just like a crazy fan, but as a person at Team Meet and Greets. Uh, just thank you for being who you were on the ice, being the player you were. It hurts to see you at the career end like this, but man, what a career it was. <laughs> It was an incredible career, and we are so thankful that you came to the Islanders. In every single game, you put your heart and soul into the ice. But yeah. Today sucks. 
Today absolutely is a nightmare. I don't know what would hurt more, because, like, this or, um, seeing him traded. I don't know. But it now makes sense why the Islanders' news was so stagnant. It makes sense now why we weren't getting any updates of what was happening this offseason. I wish it was for a, a, a better reason. <laughs> Like, not as sad as this is, but it makes sense now. Uh, I'm sorry for all the crying and all the, I guess, shows of weakness, but I can't help it. Uh, it hurts. It hurts to see one of your favorite players. <sighs> not being able to... Not being able to play anymore. <sighs> I don't know, maybe... You know, like, watching him be traded, I would have, you know, understood. I would have been upset, but... Watching your favorite player's career end because of this? That's just brutal. <laughs> John. But yeah. From the sincerest bottom of my heart. Thank you, Johnny Boy Chuck. <laughs> Thanks, chat. <laughs> uh, you know, I try to keep it real. I try to keep it. I try to keep it a hundred percent real with you guys. You know, but I try to put on good content. Try to be tough, especially in such a, you know, in sports where it's just so male dominated. <laughs> I try to keep put on a brave face, but today I just I can't. Sometimes you have to break down and cry a little. But sometimes you just have to break down and cry a little and reflect on his amazing career. It was an amazing career. Thanks, J Dub. He truly had an amazing career if you look back on it. He was a defenseman I loved from the bottom of my heart. I wasn't very vocal, I guess, about it. But if you did ask me who my favorite Islanders were, he was up there. He was right there. Like I said, Sezikis, Boychuk, Paja. My favorite Islanders, right there. Like, if... If I love you enough to have your jersey, like, if I have your jersey that shows how much respect I have for you, I don't just buy jerseys willy-nilly, honestly. You know, maybe with the Leonard, because you guys know how much I love Leonard, but I don't just buy jerseys willy-nilly because, oh, I want it. I have to really respect you as a player. The reason I wear the jerseys that I wear and the names that I wear is because these are players... I 100% am proud to represent. These are players that I absolutely respect out of the fullness of my heart. That I always feel when they step on the ice give 100% and truly represent my team. That's why I wear these names and why I wear these jerseys. Because they give me nothing but pride being an Islanders fan. So... You know, and that's why I wear this jersey. That's why I have this jersey. Because I have nothing but respect. Nothing but respect. Yeah, Brandon, like, I'm just glad I'm not alone. I'm hearing other people in here saying that they, they felt the same way about certain players, so. 
I just really hope I'm not, like, overreacting. But, I don't know. Like I said, I just get too emotionally attached to my players. and This one hurts really bad. It hurts really, really bad. But hey, I got a si- <laughs> I'm looking at his signature right now on my hat, man, and it's killing me. <laughs> yeah, Alex, I know. That's gonna be league-wide upsetting. But yeah. Patrick Kane to Taves. Yeah. Exactly sleeping. It's just- it's tough. And I- it's just- the- <laughs> The fact that I was there and I saw that moment happen in front of me, I still remember the feeling. Like, it's like phantom pain, I guess. Like, I, it's not phantom pain, but... Like, you just have such a recollection of the event that I can still feel my stomach flip when it happened. I can st I remember leaving that game just feeling like... I still remember leaving that game just feeling absolutely upset. I don't even know if we won that game. I don't even know. I was just so focused on Johnny Boychuk and if he was okay. He was such a trooper, man. I, yeah, exactly. I wish him health and happiness. and I know he's making the right choice and his safety and his health comes first. Absolutely. No questions about it. No questions. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I'll try and see if I can work on a a video today in honor of Johnny Boychuk. I'll get probably one of my Bruins fans to help me out with some of his best moments from the Bruins. Uh, yeah. Riley better retire relief. I know he'll retire relief, John. I, I really think he will. And uh, at least I'll know Johnny Boychuk will retire an Islander. That makes me happy. That makes me happy at least. That he, you know, in the end, it, it was here, right on the island. So that's that's gonna be it all for me today. But I'll talk more about it Sunday, obviously, because we might expect more Islanders news. After Thanksgiving, maybe. I don't I don't think it will, but if anything happens, hey. But um I'll talk more about this Sunday with you guys. Uh you know I will. I'll go more in depth about what this means for the team, uh what this means for Barzell. But right now I, I am I kinda have to process this as a fan. Revenite, focus on school. I'm just crying. Go focus on school. School's more important. Yeah. I don't I just don't want I don't want this to be 30 minutes of a Kim Cry sesh. But um Uh yeah. I I just have to process this as a fan right now and I'll talk more analytically Sunday but right now I just I, I can't <laughs> I can't keep crying in front of you guys so what I'm gonna say right now is exactly Kate I am going to say a very very happy Thanksgiving to everyone uh, I hope you guys Canadian or American have a very very happy Thanksgiving uh, I know it's not Canadian Thanksgiving, but hey, join an American tradition. <laughs> but again, very, very grateful to all of you on who's in the chat right now and who have joined this channel over the past year. Um, things have happened I never thought could have been absolutely possible. Uh, and a lot of things, very sad things happened this year. And I, uh, some happy, the only thing happy I think that's happened this year was my the Islanders going to the Eastern Conference Final. Like, that's the only thing I could say was the happiest moment of my life this year. <laughs> but 
I wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving, and I want to thank you so much for supporting me in this channel, and <sighs> yeah, I'm going to need a moment today, but I'll send out a nice little video t to you guys tomorrow. Watch on, uh, on Twitter. <laughs> guys, yeah, thank you. I was about to say, guys, gotta watch out for the names, please. Thank you, John. Thank you, Dottius. Hey, bad dog. Oh, God, why is everyone coming when I'm crying? Oh, God. I'm trying not to cry right now. I know my... Damn it! I know my grandma and I are gonna be <laughs> sad chatting together. Damn it! Ah, <sighs> uh, John. <laughs> I think that would make it worse, John. I definitely will, bad dog. I definitely will. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm trying to hold it in. Yeah, same to you. Have, have very, very, very Thanksgiving. <laughs> Oh, shit. I don't want this to be a cry fast, I'm sorry. This is so- this sucks so bad. I have so many Johnny Boy Chuck pictures up here, man. Yo, how many do I got up here of him? One, two, three. Oh. That hurts. Canadian Thanksgiving? <laughs> yeah, it passed already. <sighs> but lots of stuff to come in the hockey movie. Yeah, with, that, with this, I feel like there's gonna be an influx of stuff going to happen now. Yeah, what am- <sighs> But yeah, no, it's, today is just not a good day. I'm gonna be wearing this around today, though, showing my support. I don't care. I got some looks today, like, why is she wearing a hockey jersey? And I could not give one damn. I could not give one damn, because it's like, if you get it, you get it. You don't, you don't. I, I don't care. I I'm wearing my hockey jersey loud and proud today, because I love this player so much. We'll talk about that, Revenant. We'll talk about that. But alright. Definitely do that, but... All the cackle lovers don't get it. Oh yeah, I'm wearing him all day. All day. This isn't coming off me today. I don't care. It's not leaving my back. Showing it around the island loud and proud today because I still have uh, some stuff to do. But <sighs> thank you guys for joining me and watching me cry for half an hour. <sighs> but thank you, um, guys. Seriously, um, I do appreciate you guys coming on and just taking a few minutes and. I really do. I really do appreciate this community and <laughs> I really do appreciate you guys coming in and being supportive and I love this community. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to end it so you don't have to see me cry more, but have a happy and healthy Thanksgiving. Please be safe. Enjoy some time with your loved ones, whether you know whether it be in person or not. Um, just remember how much you truly are loved. 
<laughs> Mima, stop. <laughs> but thank you, and have a happy and warm Thanksgiving. And I am so thankful for all of you. So thankful. Uh, thank you guys for joining. Thank you to Johnny Boychuk. And let's go Islanders.